Ever feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, unsure how to achieve your goals? The strategic mind unlocks the secrets of strategic thinking, transforming your approach to personal growth and planning. Discover how to navigate complexities with confidence, make smarter decisions, and seize hidden opportunities. Don't let uncertainty hold you back. Harness the power of your mind to shape your future. Your path to extraordinary success begins here. Before we go on, I invite you to download the free bundle, which contains the ebook version of this book and an executive summary of all the chapters with the key takeaways. Studies show that engaging with content through multiple formats significantly enhances learning and retention. Click on the first link in the description to claim your free bundle now and maximize your learning potential. Now it's free, but it won't be for long, so make sure to grab it while you can. Chapter 1, Awakening Strategy In the quiet moments of reflection, we often find ourselves pondering the trajectory of our lives. Are we truly living up to our potential? Are we making the most of our opportunities? These questions, while daunting, are the first stirrings of a strategic mind awakening. The journey of personal growth is not a straight path, but rather a winding road filled with challenges, opportunities, and moments of profound realization. It is in navigating this path that the power of strategic thinking becomes not just valuable, but essential. Strategic thinking, at its core, is about seeing the bigger picture. It's about understanding how our actions today shape our tomorrows and how the various aspects of our lives interconnect to form the tapestry of our existence. In the realm of personal development, this approach is transformative. It shifts our perspective from short-term reactions to long-term visions, from passive acceptance to active creation of our futures. As you embark on this journey through the strategic mind, you're taking the first step towards a fundamental shift in how you approach your personal growth and life planning. This book is designed to be more than just a collection of ideas. It's a toolkit for transformation. Each chapter builds upon the last, offering new insights and practical tools to reshape your thinking and empower your actions. In this first chapter, we lay the groundwork for your strategic awakening. We'll explore what you can expect to achieve as you work through this book and the long-term benefits of adopting a strategic mindset. We'll delve into the key steps involved in this transformation and why they're crucial for your personal development journey. Let's start by considering what you should be able to achieve the first time you go through this book. Firstly, you'll gain a solid understanding of the fundamentals of strategic thinking. This isn't about complex business strategies or corporate jargon. It's about learning to see your life and goals from a broader, more interconnected perspective. You'll begin to recognize patterns and connections that were previously hidden from view. Secondly, you'll start applying critical thinking tools to your personal growth. These tools will help you analyze situations more effectively, make more informed decisions, and approach challenges with a clearer mind. You'll find yourself questioning assumptions, considering multiple perspectives, and arriving at more robust solutions to personal and professional dilemmas. Lastly, you'll come to recognize the profound impact that effective planning can have on your personal development. You'll see how setting clear, well-thought-out goals and creating structured plans to achieve them can accelerate your growth and lead to more fulfilling outcomes. But this is just the beginning. If you continue to apply these principles over time, the results can be truly transformative. You'll develop an enhanced ability to set and achieve long-term goals. No longer will you be swayed by short-term distractions or derailed by temporary setbacks. Instead, you'll have the tools to stay focused on your larger objectives, adjusting your course as needed while keeping your ultimate destination in sight. Moreover, you'll cultivate a proactive and strategic mindset. This shift from reactive to proactive thinking is perhaps one of the most powerful changes you can make in your life. Instead of merely responding to circumstances as they arise, you'll learn to anticipate challenges and opportunities, positioning yourself to make the most of both. Perhaps most importantly, adopting a strategic approach to personal growth sets the stage for continuous personal and professional development. 
you'll create a self-reinforcing cycle of growth where each achievement builds your confidence and capabilities, propelling you towards even greater accomplishments. So what's involved in this process and what are the most important steps? The journey begins with adopting a strategic thinking mindset. This involves shifting your perspective to consider long-term consequences, recognize interconnections, and think systematically about your goals and challenges. It's about training your mind to automatically consider the bigger picture in every situation. Next comes learning and applying critical thinking tools. These are the practical techniques that will allow you to analyze situations more effectively, make better decisions, and solve problems more creatively. From root cause analysis to scenario planning, these tools will become invaluable assets in your personal growth toolkit. The final crucial step is integrating strategic planning into your daily life. This isn't about creating rigid, inflexible plans, but rather about developing a habit of thoughtful, forward-looking decision-making in all aspects of your life. It's about aligning your daily actions with your long-term vision and goals. Why are these steps important, and why have they been arranged in this particular order? The sequence is designed to establish a strong foundation for personal growth. By starting with the mindset shift, we ensure that all subsequent learning is viewed through a strategic lens. This maximizes the impact of the tools and techniques you'll learn. Building skills progressively allows for maximum impact. Each new concept builds upon the last, creating a comprehensive framework for strategic thinking and action. This approach ensures that you're not just accumulating information, but developing a cohesive set of skills that work together synergistically. Finally, this order ensures a logical progression of concepts and applications. We move from the theoretical to the practical, from broad concepts to specific tools, and from individual techniques to integrated strategies. This progression allows you to see how each piece fits into the larger puzzle of strategic personal development. Understanding strategic thinking is crucial to this journey. At its essence, strategic thinking is about connecting the dots, seeing how different aspects of your life and environment interact and influence each other. It's about looking beyond the immediate and considering the long-term implications of your choices and actions. The importance of strategy in personal growth cannot be overstated. Without a strategic approach, personal development efforts can often feel scattered and ineffective. We might make progress in one area of our lives only to find ourselves stagnating or regressing in others. A strategic approach allows us to develop in a balanced, holistic manner, ensuring that progress in one area supports and enhances growth in others. This brings us to the critical mindset shift that underpins strategic thinking. Moving from a reactive to a proactive stance is transformative. Instead of merely responding to life's events as they unfold, you learn to anticipate, plan, and shape your circumstances. This shift empowers you to take control of your personal growth journey rather than being at the mercy of external forces. Embracing a long-term vision is another crucial aspect of this mindset shift. It involves looking beyond immediate gratification or short-term gains to consider the bigger picture of your life and aspirations. This long-term perspective allows you to make decisions that align with your deeper values and ultimate goals, even if they require short-term sacrifices or challenges. As we lay the foundations for effective planning, setting clear objectives becomes paramount. Without clear, well-defined goals, even the most sophisticated strategies will lack direction. We'll explore techniques for setting objectives that are not only ambitious, but also specific, measurable, and aligned with your values. Speaking of values, aligning your goals with your core beliefs and principles is essential for sustainable personal growth. When your objectives resonate with your deepest values, you'll find an inexhaustible wellspring of motivation and resilience to draw upon as you pursue them. In the final section of this chapter, we'll introduce some initial tools for your strategic awakening. We'll begin by exploring methods for identifying your personal strengths and weaknesses. This self-awareness is crucial for effective strategic planning, allowing you to leverage your strengths 
and address your weaknesses in pursuit of your goals. We'll also look at techniques for recognizing and capitalizing on opportunities for growth. In a rapidly changing world, the ability to spot and seize opportunities is invaluable. You'll learn to cultivate an opportunistic mindset that allows you to turn challenges into stepping stones for personal development. As we conclude this first chapter, you may find yourself both excited and perhaps a little overwhelmed by the journey ahead. Rest assured, each subsequent chapter will build upon these foundational concepts, providing you with practical tools and insights to implement strategic thinking in your life. The path of strategic personal growth is not always easy, but it is invariably rewarding. As you turn the page to the next chapter, prepare to delve deeper into the interconnected nature of your personal ecosystem. You'll discover how understanding these connections can dramatically enhance your ability to plan and achieve your goals. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and you've just taken it. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to Grow to the Top and activate notifications to receive more self-improvement tips that will supercharge your growth. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you for your support. Chapter 2. Systems Thinking As we embark on this chapter, imagine for a moment that you're standing at the edge of a vast, intricate web. Each strand shimmers with potential, connecting to countless others in a dance of cause and effect. This web isn't just a metaphor. It's a powerful representation of your life and the world around you. Welcome to the realm of systems thinking, a perspective that will revolutionize how you approach personal growth and strategic planning. At its core, systems thinking is about seeing the bigger picture. It's a way of understanding the world that focuses on the interconnections between various elements rather than viewing them in isolation. But why is this important for effective planning? The answer lies in the complex nature of our lives and the world we inhabit. Traditional approaches to personal development often focus on isolated goals or areas of improvement. While this can lead to short-term gains, it often falls short in creating lasting, meaningful change. The reason is simple. Our lives don't exist in neat, separate compartments. Every decision we make, every action we take, ripples out to affect other aspects of our lives in ways we might not immediately recognize. By adopting a systems thinking approach, we begin to recognize these complex interdependencies. We start to see how a change in one area of our life can have unexpected consequences in another. This awareness is crucial for effective planning because it allows us to anticipate potential obstacles and leverage synergies we might otherwise miss. Moreover, systems thinking enhances our decision-making by providing a more holistic perspective. Instead of making choices based on narrow, short-term considerations, we learn to evaluate options in the context of our broader life system. This leads to more balanced, sustainable decisions that align with our overall goals and values. As we delve deeper into this concept, let's explore the idea of the interconnected self. Imagine your life as a complex ecosystem with various elements interacting in dynamic ways. Just as a forest ecosystem consists of trees, animals, soil, and climate all influencing each other, your personal ecosystem comprises various aspects of your life in constant interplay. Viewing life as a system requires a shift in perspective. Instead of seeing events as isolated occurrences, we begin to recognize patterns and relationships. That promotion at work isn't just about career advancement. It might also impact your relationships, your stress levels, and your personal time. Understanding these connections allows us to make more informed choices and navigate life's challenges with greater wisdom. But what exactly are the components of our personal systems? While every individual's system is unique, there are some common domains we can explore. First, consider the interplay between your emotional, mental, and physical states. How does your physical health affect your mood? How do your thoughts influence your actions? These domains are inextricably linked, each influencing and being influenced by the others. Beyond these internal domains, our personal systems also encompass social and environmental influences. Our relationships, work environment, 
living situation, and broader community all play crucial roles in shaping our experiences and opportunities. Recognizing these external factors as part of our system allows us to leverage supportive elements and mitigate negative influences more effectively. Now that we've explored the components of our personal systems, how can we begin to map this complex web? Creating a personal ecosystem map is a powerful exercise in self-awareness and strategic thinking. Start by identifying the key areas of your life, career, relationships, health, personal growth, and so on. Then, begin to draw connections between these areas. How does your career impact your relationships? How do your hobbies influence your health? As you create this map, pay close attention to the key interactions. Some connections will be obvious, while others might surprise you. The goal isn't to create a perfect representation of your life, but rather to develop a deeper understanding of the interconnections that shape your experiences and opportunities. Applying systems thinking to your life isn't just an academic exercise. It's a powerful tool for personal growth and strategic planning. One of the most significant benefits is in holistic decision-making. When faced with a choice, systems thinking encourages us to consider not just the immediate consequences, but also the potential ripple effects across our life system. For example, when considering a job change, a systems thinking approach would prompt you to consider not just the salary and job responsibilities, but also how the new position might affect your work-life balance, your stress levels, your relationships, and your long-term career trajectory. This holistic perspective leads to more nuanced, well-rounded decisions. Another key application of systems thinking is in balancing different life aspects. Often we find ourselves feeling pulled in multiple directions, struggling to juggle various responsibilities and aspirations. Systems thinking provides a framework for understanding how these different areas interact and influence each other, allowing us to find more sustainable ways of balancing our commitments and priorities. To help internalize these concepts, let's explore some practical exercises suitable for an audiobook listener. One powerful technique is mental mapping of personal systems. Close your eyes and visualize your life as a network of interconnected nodes. See each area of your life as a point of light with glowing strands connecting them. As you focus on each connection, ask yourself how these areas influence each other. What happens if you strengthen one connection? How does it affect the others? Another useful exercise involves reflective questions to identify interconnections. Ask yourself, what are three unexpected ways my job affects my personal life? Or, how does my physical health influence my relationships? These questions prompt you to explore the hidden connections in your life system, revealing insights that can inform your strategic planning. As you begin to apply systems thinking to your life, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll develop an improved awareness of life's interconnected aspects. You'll start to see connections you've never noticed before, gaining a richer understanding of your personal ecosystem. An excellent outcome would be the ability to plan strategically across life domains. You'll be able to set goals and make decisions that take into account the complex interplay between different areas of your life, leading to more balanced and sustainable growth. The best outcome, however, is mastery in optimizing life through systems thinking. At this level, you'll not only understand the interconnections in your life, but also be able to leverage them for exponential growth. You'll create positive feedback loops where progress in one area naturally enhances others, leading to a harmonious and thriving personal ecosystem. Of course, as with any powerful tool, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is overcomplicating the system. It's easy to get lost in the complexity of interconnections, leading to overwhelm. The solution is to simplify your focus areas. Identify the most crucial connections and concentrate on those, allowing you to harness the power of systems thinking without getting bogged down in excessive detail. Another potential problem is ignoring key influences. Our personal systems are dynamic, constantly evolving as we grow and our circumstances change. It's important to regularly reassess your system map 
ensuring you're not overlooking new or changing influences that could significantly impact your growth and decision-making. Lastly, be wary of analysis paralysis. The depth of insight provided by systems thinking can sometimes lead to overthinking and inaction. Remember that the goal is to enhance your decision-making and planning, not to replace action with endless analysis. Set actionable steps despite the complexities, using your system's understanding to inform your choices rather than delay them. As we conclude this exploration of systems thinking, you may find yourself viewing your life through a new lens. The interconnections you've discovered, the patterns you've recognized, are just the beginning of a profound shift in how you approach personal growth and strategic planning. But our journey is far from over. As we move forward, we'll delve deeper into the art of uncovering the hidden roots of our challenges and aspirations. What lies beneath the surface of our goals and obstacles? How can we dig deeper to create lasting, meaningful change? These questions will guide us as we explore the intriguing concept of root analysis in our next chapter. Prepare to unearth the foundations of your personal growth journey. Chapter 3, Root Analysis. Have you ever felt like you're constantly battling the same challenges, no matter how hard you try to overcome them? It's as if you're trapped in a cycle, addressing the same issues over and over again without making lasting progress. This frustrating experience is more common than you might think, and it points to a fundamental truth about personal growth and problem solving. What we see on the surface is often just the tip of the iceberg. In this chapter, we're going to explore a powerful approach that can help you break free from these recurring patterns and achieve more sustainable personal growth. We'll delve into a method that allows you to look beneath the surface of your challenges and uncover the hidden forces that truly drive them. This approach is not about quick fixes or temporary solutions. It's about creating lasting change by addressing the core of your issues. But why is this so important for effective planning? Imagine you're trying to plan a journey, but you keep encountering unexpected detours and roadblocks. You might find yourself constantly adjusting your route, wasting time and energy. Now imagine if you could identify and remove these obstacles before you even begin your journey. That's the power of the approach we're about to explore. One of the key benefits of this method is its ability to prevent the recurrence of problems. When we only address the symptoms of an issue, we might feel temporary relief, but the problem often resurfaces later, sometimes in a different form. By digging deeper and addressing the root cause, we can create solutions that stand the test of time. Moreover, this approach allows us to allocate our resources more efficiently. Instead of spreading our efforts thin, trying to manage multiple surface-level issues, we can focus our energy on addressing the core problems that give rise to these symptoms. This targeted approach not only saves time and effort, but also leads to more impactful and lasting results. As we begin to dig deeper into our challenges, it's crucial to understand the difference between surface issues and underlying causes. Surface issues are the problems we immediately perceive, the symptoms that catch our attention and often prompt us to take action. These might include things like procrastination, conflicts in relationships, or feelings of stress and anxiety. Underlying causes, on the other hand, are the root factors that give rise to these surface issues. They're often hidden from view, buried beneath layers of habits, beliefs, and circumstances. For example, what appears as procrastination might actually stem from a deep-seated fear of failure or perfectionism. The cost of ignoring these root problems can be substantial. When we focus solely on managing symptoms, we expend enormous amounts of energy without ever truly resolving the issue. It's like trying to bail water out of a leaking boat without ever patching the hole. No matter how hard we work, we'll never make real progress. So how do we uncover these hidden root causes? There are several powerful techniques we can employ. One of the most effective is known as the five whys method. This approach involves asking why repeatedly to peel back the layers of an issue and reveal its core. Each answer becomes the basis for the next question, allowing you to drill down to the fundamental cause. Another useful tool 
is the fishbone diagram, also known as the Ishikawa diagram. This visual technique helps you identify multiple potential causes for a problem by organizing them into categories. It's particularly useful for complex issues that might have several contributing factors. As we explore these techniques, it's important to approach them with an open and curious mind. The goal is not to judge or criticize ourselves, but to gain a deeper understanding of the forces at play in our lives. This understanding is the key to implementing effective solutions. When it comes to addressing core issues, the solutions we develop need to be as thoughtful and nuanced as our analysis. It's not enough to simply identify the root cause. We need to create strategies that address these fundamental issues in a sustainable way. This might involve challenging long-held beliefs, developing new skills, or making significant changes to our environment or relationships. Ensuring sustainable change requires patience and persistence. Unlike quick fixes that offer immediate but temporary relief, addressing root causes often involves a process of gradual transformation. It's about creating new patterns and habits that align with our deeper understanding of ourselves and our challenges. To help you internalize these concepts, let's explore some practical exercises that are particularly suitable for audiobook listeners. One powerful technique is a guided five whys exercise. Find a quiet moment and think of a recurring challenge in your life. Ask yourself why this problem occurs and then ask why about your answer. Continue this process going deeper with each question. You might be surprised at the insights that emerge. Another effective approach is to use visualization techniques for identifying root causes. Close your eyes and imagine your challenge as a tree. The visible parts, the trunk, branches, and leaves represent the surface issues. Now, visualize the roots spreading out beneath the ground. What do these roots represent? What hidden factors are nourishing your challenge? This visual metaphor can help you uncover connections and influences you might not have considered before. As you begin to apply these techniques in your life, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll achieve identification of underlying issues. You'll gain clarity on the true nature of your challenges, seeing beyond the surface symptoms to the core factors driving them. An excellent outcome would be developing effective solutions to core problems. Armed with your deeper understanding, you'll be able to create strategies that address the fundamental causes of your challenges, leading to more lasting and impactful change. The best outcome, however, is achieving long-term growth without recurring challenges. By consistently applying root cause analysis and addressing core issues, you'll create a foundation for sustainable personal development. You'll find yourself breaking free from old patterns and making progress in areas that previously seemed stuck. Of course, as with any powerful tool, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is stopping at surface causes. It's easy to think we've found the root cause when we've only scratched the surface. The key is to keep probing deeper, challenging our assumptions and pushing beyond our initial insights. Another challenge is bias in analysis. Our own perspectives and beliefs can sometimes blind us to certain factors or lead us to draw incorrect conclusions. To counteract this, it's often helpful to seek objective perspectives. This might involve discussing your analysis with a trusted friend or mentor, or even working with a professional coach or therapist. Lastly, be wary of overcomplicating solutions. While root cause analysis can reveal complex underlying factors, our solutions don't always need to be equally complex. Often, the most effective strategies are those that focus on practical, actionable steps. Remember, the goal is to create real change in your life, not just to engage in intellectual exercise. As we conclude this exploration of root analysis, you may find yourself looking at your challenges in a new light. The insights you've gained, the deeper understanding you've developed, are powerful tools for personal growth and transformation. But our journey is far from over. As we move forward, we'll turn our gaze from the depths to the horizon. What lies ahead in the uncertain future, and how can we prepare ourselves to navigate it effectively? In our next chapter, we'll explore a fascinating approach that allows us to peer into potential futures 
and chart our course with greater confidence. Get ready to expand your perspective in ways you never imagined possible. Chapter 4. Scenario Planning Imagine standing at a crossroads, peering down multiple paths that stretch into the misty unknown. Each path represents a possible future, filled with unique challenges and opportunities. Which path do you choose? How do you prepare for the twists and turns that lie ahead? This chapter introduces a powerful tool that can help you navigate these uncertainties with confidence and strategic foresight. The future is inherently unpredictable, yet our success often depends on our ability to anticipate and prepare for what lies ahead. This is where the art of scenario planning comes into play. It's a method that allows us to explore multiple possible futures, helping us to make more informed decisions and develop strategies that can withstand the test of time. But why is this so important for effective planning? In a world of constant change and uncertainty, flexibility and adaptability are crucial skills. Scenario planning enhances these abilities by encouraging us to consider a range of potential outcomes. Instead of being caught off guard by unexpected events, we become better equipped to pivot and adjust our strategies as circumstances evolve. Moreover, this approach can significantly reduce anxiety about the future. By exploring various possibilities and developing plans for each, we gain a sense of preparedness that can help alleviate the stress of uncertainty. It's like having a mental roadmap for multiple journeys, allowing us to face the future with greater confidence and clarity. As we delve deeper into preparing for the future, it's essential to understand the nature of uncertainty. Uncertainty isn't just a lack of knowledge, it's a fundamental characteristic of complex systems, including our lives and the world around us. Recognizing this fact is the first step in developing a more nuanced and effective approach to planning. Foresight plays a crucial role in this process. It's not about predicting the future with certainty, but rather about expanding our perspective to consider a range of possibilities. By cultivating foresight, we can identify potential opportunities and challenges before they arise, giving us a strategic advantage in our personal growth journey. So how do we go about developing these scenarios? The process begins with identifying key variables and trends that could significantly impact our future. These might include technological advancements, societal shifts, personal circumstances, or global events. The goal is to pinpoint the factors that have the potential to shape our path in meaningful ways. Once we've identified these key variables, we can start crafting plausible future narratives. This is where creativity meets strategic thinking. We're not trying to predict the future with certainty, but rather to explore a range of possible futures based on different combinations of these variables. Each scenario should be distinct, internally consistent, and challenging to our current assumptions. For example, we might develop one scenario where technology advances rapidly, leading to significant changes in the job market. Another scenario might explore a future with increased emphasis on sustainability and community-based living. The key is to stretch our thinking and consider futures that are both plausible and significantly different from our current reality. As we develop these scenarios, it's important to remember that the goal isn't to choose the right future, but to prepare for a range of possibilities. This brings us to the crucial step of developing strategic responses to these scenarios. Creating flexible plans is at the heart of this process. Instead of developing a single rigid strategy, we create plans that can adapt to various potential futures. This might involve identifying core strategies that work across multiple scenarios, as well as developing contingency plans for specific circumstances. Building adaptive strategies goes hand in hand with flexible planning. This involves cultivating skills and resources that will be valuable across a range of possible futures. It's about developing the ability to pivot and adjust as circumstances change, rather than being locked into a single course of action. Incorporating scenario planning into our lives doesn't have to be a complex or time-consuming process. There are several personal application techniques that can help us integrate this approach into our daily thinking and decision-making. 
One effective method is to regularly set aside time for future thinking. This might involve dedicating a few minutes each week to considering potential future developments and their implications for our goals and plans. By making this a habit, we can cultivate a more forward-thinking mindset and stay attuned to emerging trends and possibilities. Another important aspect is monitoring and updating our scenarios. The future is constantly evolving and our understanding of potential outcomes should evolve with it. Regularly revisiting and refining our scenarios helps ensure that our planning remains relevant and effective. There are practical exercises you can use to engage with these concepts more deeply. One powerful technique is mental visualization of future scenarios. Close your eyes and imagine yourself living in each of the futures you've envisioned. What does your daily life look like? What challenges do you face? What opportunities are available? This vivid mental imagery can help make the scenarios more tangible and reveal insights you might have overlooked. Another useful exercise is guided imagery for strategic responses. Once you've visualized a scenario, imagine yourself successfully navigating the challenges it presents. What actions do you take? What skills or resources do you draw upon? This mental rehearsal can help build confidence and identify potential strategies for dealing with future uncertainties. As you begin to apply scenario planning in your life, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll develop an awareness of potential futures. This expanded perspective alone can be valuable, helping you to recognize emerging trends and possibilities that you might otherwise have missed. An excellent outcome would be preparedness for various outcomes. By developing flexible plans and adaptive strategies, you'll be better equipped to handle whatever the future might bring. This preparedness can translate into greater resilience and success in both your personal and professional life. The best outcome, however, is the ability to thrive regardless of uncertainties. When you've thoroughly explored various futures and developed strategies for each, you're no longer at the mercy of external circumstances. Instead, you become adept at identifying opportunities and navigating challenges across a range of possible futures. Of course, as with any powerful tool, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is focusing only on negative scenarios. While it's important to consider potential challenges, it's equally crucial to explore positive possibilities. A balanced approach that includes both optimistic and pessimistic scenarios will provide a more comprehensive view of potential futures. Another challenge is overlooking key variables. Our personal biases and limited perspectives can sometimes cause us to miss important factors that could significantly impact our future. To counteract this, it's helpful to broaden your scope by seeking diverse perspectives and information sources. Lastly, be wary of inaction due to uncertainty. The goal of scenario planning is to inform action, not to paralyze decision-making. While it's important to consider multiple possibilities, it's equally crucial to commit to adaptable plans and take concrete steps towards your goals. As we conclude this exploration of scenario planning, you may find yourself looking at the future with new eyes. The possibilities you've envisioned, the strategies you've considered, are powerful tools for navigating the uncertainties that lie ahead. But our journey through the realm of strategic thinking is far from over. In our next chapter, we'll delve into a critical aspect of turning our plans into reality. How do we make choices that align with our long-term vision while navigating the complexities of daily life? Get ready to explore a framework that can transform the way you approach decision-making bringing clarity and purpose to even the most challenging choices. Chapter 5, Decision Models Every day, we face a myriad of choices. Some are small and seemingly inconsequential, while others have the power to shape the course of our lives. Yet, how often do we pause to consider the process by which we make these decisions? In this chapter, we'll explore a powerful approach that can transform the way you navigate life's crossroads, big and small. Imagine having a compass that not only points you in the right direction, but also helps you understand why that direction is best for you. This is the essence of what we'll be discussing, 
a set of tools that can bring clarity and confidence to your decision-making process. But why is this so crucial for effective planning? The quality of our decisions directly impacts the quality of our lives. By improving our decision-making process, we can significantly enhance the outcomes we achieve. It's not just about making better choices in the moment. It's about ensuring that each decision we make is a step towards our long-term goals and aspirations. Moreover, these tools help us align our actions with our long-term objectives. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of our bigger picture. The approaches we'll explore act as a bridge connecting our immediate choices to our overarching life goals. As we delve into the art of decision-making, it's important to recognize some common pitfalls that can derail even the best intentions. One of the most prevalent is decision fatigue, the deterioration of our decision-making ability after a long session of decision-making. Another is the tendency to rely too heavily on intuition or emotion, especially for significant decisions that warrant more careful consideration. This is where structured approaches come into play. By providing a framework for our thoughts, these methods help us navigate complex choices with greater clarity and objectivity. They allow us to break down decisions into manageable components, consider multiple perspectives, and arrive at conclusions that are both logical and aligned with our values. Now, Let's explore some specific decision-making frameworks that can revolutionize your approach to choices. One powerful tool is the cost-benefit analysis. At its core, this method involves listing out all the potential costs and benefits of a decision, then weighing them against each other. But it's more than just a simple pros and cons list. A thorough cost-benefit analysis encourages you to think deeply about both short-term and long-term implications, consider intangible factors, and even attempt to quantify aspects that might seem unquantifiable at first glance. Another valuable framework is the decision matrix. This tool is particularly useful when you're faced with multiple options and several criteria to consider. Imagine a grid where your options are listed on one axis and your decision criteria on the other. By assigning weights to each criterion and scoring each option, you can arrive at a more objective evaluation of your choices. Of course, not every decision requires an elaborate analysis. The key is in choosing the right model for the situation at hand. When assessing which approach to use, consider the complexity of the decision and its potential impact. A choice between two job offers, for instance, might warrant a full decision matrix while deciding on a weekend activity might be better served by a quick mental cost-benefit analysis. It's also crucial to align your decision-making models with your personal goals. The criteria you use in your analyses should reflect your values and long-term objectives. This ensures that your decisions, even on a day-to-day -day basis, are moving you in the direction you want to go. As we strive to enhance the quality of our decisions, it's important to incorporate data and evidence wherever possible. In our information-rich world, we often have access to relevant facts and statistics that can inform our choices. However, it's equally important to be discerning about the information we use, ensuring it comes from reliable sources and is relevant to our specific situation. One of the biggest challenges in decision-making is overcoming our own cognitive biases. These are systematic errors in thinking that can affect our judgments and decisions. For example, confirmation bias leads us to favor information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs, while the sunk cost fallacy makes us reluctant to abandon a course of action because we've already invested time or resources into it. Awareness of these biases is the first step in overcoming them. By understanding the ways our minds can trick us, we can take steps to counteract these tendencies. This might involve actively seeking out information that challenges our assumptions or asking trusted friends or mentors for their perspectives to balance our own. There are practical exercises you can use to engage with these concepts more deeply. One effective technique is a mental cost-benefit analysis exercise. The next time you face a decision, take a moment to close your eyes and visualize two columns in your mind. In one column, imagine listing all the potential benefits of a particular choice. In the other, 
picture the potential costs or drawbacks. Take your time to really explore each side, considering both immediate and long-term implications. Another useful exercise involves reflective questions to clarify choices. When faced with a decision, ask yourself, how does this align with my long-term goals? What would my future self want me to do? What am I giving up by making this choice? These questions can help cut through confusion and bring your core values and objectives to the forefront of your decision-making process. As you begin to apply these decision-making models in your life, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll find yourself engaging in more thoughtful decision-making. You'll start to notice that you're considering factors you might have overlooked before, leading to more well-rounded choices. An excellent outcome would be the consistent alignment of your decisions with your goals. As you become more adept at using these tools, you'll find that your choices naturally start to support your long-term objectives. This alignment can bring a sense of purpose and direction to your daily life. The best outcome, however, is achieving optimal results through strategic choices. When you've mastered these decision-making models, you'll not only make better individual decisions, but also create a synergy between your choices. Each decision becomes a building block, contributing to the larger structure of your life goals and aspirations. Of course, as with any powerful tool, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is analysis paralysis, becoming so caught up in the decision-making process that you struggle to actually make a choice. To counteract this, it can be helpful to set time limits for your analysis, especially for smaller decisions. Remember, the goal is to make better decisions, not perfect ones. Another challenge is the tendency to ignore intuition in favor of pure logic. While these models provide a structured approach to decision-making, it's important not to discount your gut feelings entirely. Often, our intuition is drawing on subconscious knowledge and experience that our conscious mind hasn't fully processed. The key is to strike a balance, using these analytical tools to inform and refine your intuitive judgments. Lastly, be aware that cognitive biases can still affect your choices even when using these models. Our minds are incredibly adept at justifying what we want to believe. To mitigate this, it can be valuable to seek objective input from others, especially for significant decisions. An outside perspective can often spot biases or overlooked factors that we might miss. As we conclude this exploration of decision models, you may find yourself looking at choices in a new light. The frameworks you've learned, the strategies you've considered, are powerful tools for navigating the complex landscape of decision-making. But our journey through the realm of strategic thinking is far from over. In our next chapter, we'll delve into a critical aspect of personal growth that often goes overlooked. How do we protect our progress and ensure that our carefully made decisions lead to the outcomes we desire? Prepare to explore a dimension of strategic thinking that can safeguard your journey towards your goals, even in the face of unexpected challenges. Chapter 6, Risk Management. As we journey through life, pursuing our goals and dreams, we often focus on the positive outcomes we hope to achieve. We envision success, growth, and fulfillment. But what about the potential obstacles that might stand in our way? What about the unforeseen challenges that could derail our carefully laid plans? In this chapter, we'll explore a crucial aspect of strategic thinking that many overlook, the art of preparing for the unexpected. Imagine you're planning an important expedition. You've mapped out your route, packed your supplies, and set your sights on the destination. But have you considered what might go wrong along the way? What if a storm hits or your equipment fails? This is where our focus for this chapter comes into play, a set of tools and strategies that can help you navigate the uncertain terrain of personal growth and goal achievement. But why is this so important for effective planning? At its core, this approach is about minimizing negative impacts on your journey. By anticipating potential pitfalls, you can take steps to avoid them or reduce their impact if they do occur. It's like having a safety net as you walk a tightrope. It doesn't guarantee you won't fall, but it certainly makes the journey less daunting. Moreover, 
This method enhances your confidence in pursuing your goals. When you've considered what might go wrong and have plans in place to handle those situations, you can move forward with greater assurance. It's not about being pessimistic, it's about being prepared. To truly understand this approach, we need to delve into the concept of personal risks. In the context of personal growth, risks can take many forms. There are external risks, factors outside your control that could impact your plans. These might include changes in your work environment, economic shifts, or unexpected life events. Then there are internal risks, factors within yourself that could hinder your progress. These might include self-doubt, lack of motivation, or ingrained habits that resist change. Understanding the relationship between risk and reward is crucial. Often, the goals that offer the greatest potential for growth and fulfillment also come with the highest risks. This doesn't mean you should avoid these goals, but rather that you should approach them with a clear understanding of the potential challenges. So how do we go about assessing these risks? The first step is identification. This involves taking a comprehensive look at your goals and the path to achieving them and asking yourself, what could go wrong? It's important to be thorough in this stage, considering both obvious and less apparent risks. Once you've identified potential risks, the next step is evaluation. This involves assessing both the likelihood of each risk occurring and the potential impact if it does. Some risks might be highly likely but have a relatively small impact, while others might be unlikely but potentially devastating if they occur. Understanding this balance helps you prioritize which risks to focus on. With a clear understanding of the risks you face, you can begin developing mitigation strategies. One key approach is developing contingency plans. These are essentially Plan B scenarios, alternative courses of action you can take if your original plan is disrupted. Having these in place gives you flexibility and resilience in the face of challenges. Speaking of resilience, building this quality is another crucial aspect of this approach. Resilience isn't about avoiding all setbacks. That's impossible. Instead, it's about developing the mental and emotional strength to bounce back from difficulties. This might involve cultivating a growth mindset, building a support network, or developing coping strategies for stress and adversity. Integrating this approach into your life isn't a one-time effort. It requires continuous monitoring of risks. As you progress towards your goals, new risks may emerge while others become less relevant. Regularly reassessing your risk landscape allows you to stay ahead of potential challenges. This ongoing process also involves adjusting your plans as needed. As you gain new information or as circumstances change, you may need to modify your strategies. This flexibility is a strength, not a weakness. It shows that you're adaptable and responsive to the realities of your situation. There are practical exercises you can use to engage with these concepts more deeply. One effective technique is a risk identification brainstorm. Set aside some quiet time and mentally list all the potential risks associated with one of your major goals. Don't censor yourself. Let your mind explore all possibilities, from the likely to the unlikely. Another useful exercise involves visualization of mitigation strategies. Once you've identified a significant risk, close your eyes and imagine yourself successfully navigating that challenge. What actions do you take? What resources do you draw upon? This mental rehearsal can help you feel more prepared and confident in facing potential obstacles. As you begin to apply this approach in your life, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll develop an awareness of potential risks. This alone can be valuable as it helps you move forward with open eyes, aware of the challenges you might face. An excellent outcome would be the development of effective risk mitigation plans. You'll not only be aware of potential risks, but have concrete strategies in place to address them. This preparedness can significantly increase your chances of success in pursuing your goals. The best outcome, however, is achieving your goals with minimal setbacks. When you've thoroughly considered potential risks and prepared for them, you're more likely to navigate challenges smoothly. You'll find yourself making steady progress, even in the face of obstacles that might have previously derailed your efforts. 
Of course, as with any powerful approach, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is underestimating risks. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking, that won't happen to me. To counteract this, strive to be thorough and objective in your risk assessments. Consider seeking input from others who might see risks you've overlooked. Another challenge is placing too much emphasis on risks, leading to inaction. While it's important to be aware of potential challenges, don't let this awareness paralyze you. Remember, the goal is to manage risks, not to eliminate them entirely. Focus on identifying manageable risks and developing practical strategies to address them. Lastly, be wary of failing to update your risk plans. As your circumstances change and you make progress towards your goals, your risk landscape will evolve. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your risk management strategies ensures they remain relevant and effective. As we conclude this exploration of risk management, you may find yourself looking at your goals and plans with new eyes. The strategies you've learned, the approaches you've considered, are powerful tools for navigating the uncertainties of personal growth and achievement. But our journey through the realm of strategic thinking is far from over. In our next chapter, we'll turn our attention inward, exploring a dimension of personal growth that can dramatically amplify the effectiveness of all the strategies we've discussed so far. How can we harness the power of our own experiences to accelerate our growth and refine our approach. Prepare to discover a practice that can transform your journey from a series of isolated events into a continuous cycle of learning and improvement. Chapter 7, Reflective Practice. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, we often find ourselves caught in a whirlwind of activity, moving from one task to the next, one goal to another. But what if I told you that the key to unlocking your full potential lies not in doing more, but in pausing to look inward? What if the most powerful tool for personal growth was already within your grasp, waiting to be harnessed? This chapter introduces a practice that has the power to transform your approach to personal development and strategic planning. It's a method that doesn't require any special equipment or expertise, yet it can dramatically enhance your ability to learn, grow, and make informed decisions. But what exactly is this practice, and how does it work? At its core, this approach is about learning from your own experiences. It's about taking the time to step back from the constant flow of action and examine what you've done, what you've learned, and how you can apply these insights to your future endeavors. This process of looking back to move forward is crucial for effective planning. By engaging in this practice, you're not just passively accumulating experiences, you're actively extracting wisdom from them. This allows you to learn from past experiences, both successes and failures, and apply these lessons to your future plans. It's like having a personal mentor who knows you better than anyone else, because that mentor is you. Moreover, this approach enhances self-awareness. As you engage in this practice, you'll begin to notice patterns in your thoughts, behaviors, and reactions. You'll gain insights into your strengths, weaknesses, values, and motivations. This deeper understanding of yourself becomes a powerful asset in shaping your goals and strategies. But what exactly is the power of this reflective approach? At its essence, it's about transforming experience into insight. Every experience you have, whether positive or negative, contains valuable lessons. However, these lessons aren't always immediately apparent. It's through the process of reflection that we extract these insights and make them usable. It's important to distinguish this practice from mere rumination. While rumination involves dwelling on negative thoughts or experiences without productive outcome, effective reflection is a structured, purposeful process aimed at learning and growth. It's not about rehashing past events, but about analyzing them objectively to gain useful insights. So, how can we engage in this practice effectively? There are several techniques that can help. One powerful method is journaling. This doesn't have to be an elaborate or time-consuming process. Even a few minutes of writing each day can yield significant benefits. The act of putting your thoughts and experiences into words helps to clarify your thinking and often leads to new insights. Another effective technique 
is structured self-questioning. This involves asking yourself specific, thought-provoking questions about your experiences. Questions like, what went well and why? What could I have done differently? And what did I learn from this experience? Can guide your reflection and help you extract meaningful insights. Once you've gained these insights, the next step is applying them to your planning. This involves identifying specific lessons learned from your reflections and considering how they can inform your future actions and strategies. For example, if you realize through reflection that you tend to underestimate how long tasks will take, you might build more buffer time into your future plans. Integrating feedback into your strategies is another crucial aspect of this process. This feedback can come from your own reflections, but it can also come from external sources, colleagues, mentors, or even the outcomes of your actions. The key is to approach this feedback with an open mind, seeing it as valuable data rather than criticism. To truly harness the power of this practice, it's important to cultivate it as a habit. This might involve scheduling regular reflection time. It doesn't have to be a long session. Even 10 to 15 minutes of focused reflection can be highly beneficial. The key is consistency. By making reflection a regular part of your routine, you ensure a continuous cycle of learning and improvement. There are various tools that can support your reflective practice. These might include apps designed for journaling or goal tracking, or simple tools like a notebook and pen. The specific tool isn't as important as finding something that works for you and that you'll use consistently. There are practical exercises you can use to engage with these concepts more deeply. One effective technique is a guided reflective meditation. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. Then, mentally review a recent experience or challenge. As you do so, pay attention to your thoughts and feelings about the experience. What insights emerge? What lessons can you draw from this reflection? Another useful exercise involves prompted self-inquiry sessions. Set aside some time to ask yourself probing questions about your recent experiences, goals, or challenges. You might consider questions like, what has been my biggest challenge recently, and what can I learn from it? What am I most proud of, and why? Or, what patterns do I notice in my behavior or decision-making? Allow yourself to explore these questions deeply, without judgment. As you begin to incorporate this reflective practice into your life, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll experience increased self-awareness. You'll start to notice patterns in your thoughts and behaviors that you might have overlooked before. This awareness alone can be transformative, providing a foundation for personal growth and more effective decision-making. An excellent outcome would be improved decision-making based on the insights you gain. As you become more adept at extracting lessons from your experiences, you'll find yourself making choices that are more aligned with your goals and values. You'll be able to anticipate challenges more effectively and develop more robust strategies for achieving your objectives. The best outcome, however, is continuous growth through reflective learning. When you've fully integrated this practice into your life, you'll find that every experience becomes an opportunity for learning and improvement. You'll develop a level of adaptability and resilience that allows you to thrive in any circumstance. Your personal growth becomes a self-perpetuating cycle, with each reflection leading to new insights and opportunities for further development. Of course, as with any powerful practice, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is confusing reflection with rumination. It's easy to fall into the trap of dwelling on past events or perceived failures without extracting constructive insights. To avoid this, focus on asking yourself what you can learn from each experience and how you can apply these lessons moving forward. Another challenge is inconsistency in practice. It's easy to let reflection fall by the wayside when life gets busy. To counteract this, Try to establish a routine, whether it's a few minutes each evening or a longer session once a week. Find a schedule that works for you and stick to it. Remember, the power of this practice lies in its consistency. Lastly, be wary of superficial reflection. 
it's possible to go through the motions of reflection without really delving deep into your experiences and insights. To avoid this, challenge yourself to ask deeper questions. Don't settle for surface-level observations. Probe into the why and how of your experiences and reactions. As we conclude this exploration of reflective practice, you may find yourself looking at your experiences in a new light. The insights you've gained, the self-awareness you've developed, are powerful tools for personal growth and strategic planning. But our journey through the realm of strategic thinking is far from over. In our next chapter, we'll explore a concept that can amplify the power of everything we've discussed so far. How can we create a system that not only learns from the past, but actively shapes the future? Prepare to discover an approach that can transform your personal growth from a series of discrete steps into a dynamic, ever-evolving process of continuous improvement. Chapter 8, Feedback Loops. Imagine you're on a journey, navigating through uncharted territory. You have a map and a compass, but the landscape is constantly shifting. How do you ensure you're still on the right path? How do you know when to adjust your course? This chapter introduces a powerful concept that can transform your approach to personal growth and strategic planning, providing you with a dynamic system for navigating life's ever-changing terrain. At its core, this approach is about creating a self-correcting system one that learns and adapts as you progress towards your goals. It's not about setting a course and blindly following it, but rather about establishing a mechanism that constantly informs and refines your strategies. But what exactly is this mechanism, and how does it work? The importance of this approach for effective planning cannot be overstated. It enables continuous improvement, allowing you to refine and optimize your strategies over time. Rather than relying on a static plan, you create a dynamic system that evolves with you, adapting to new information and changing circumstances. Moreover, this method allows you to adjust your strategies in real time. Instead of waiting for a major review or the completion of a goal to assess your progress, you can make small, incremental adjustments along the way. This agility can be the difference between success and failure in our fast-paced, ever-changing world. But what exactly is the role of feedback in personal growth? At its essence, feedback is information about the results of your actions or strategies. It's the data that tells you whether you're moving closer to or further from your goals. Understanding feedback mechanisms is crucial for harnessing their power. There are two main types of feedback to consider, internal and external. Internal feedback comes from your own observations and reflections, it's the insights you gain from monitoring your own progress, emotions, and experiences. External feedback, on the other hand, comes from the world around you. This could be input from peers, mentors, or even the measurable outcomes of your actions. Both types of feedback are valuable, but they serve different purposes. Internal feedback helps you stay aligned with your personal values and goals, while external feedback provides objective data and diverse perspectives. Learning to differentiate and balance these two types of feedback is key to creating a robust personal growth system. So, how do we go about establishing these feedback loops? The first step is setting up metrics and indicators. These are the specific measures you'll use to track your progress. They might include quantitative measures like the number of tasks completed or goals achieved, as well as qualitative indicators like your level of satisfaction or sense of fulfillment. Once you've established your metrics, the next step is gathering and analyzing feedback. This involves actively seeking out information about your progress and performance. It might mean regularly reviewing your metrics, soliciting input from trusted individuals, or engaging in self-reflection exercises. But gathering feedback is only half the battle. The real power lies in how you utilize this information. Responding to feedback effectively is a skill in itself. It requires openness to new information, even when it challenges your existing beliefs or strategies. It also involves discernment. Not all feedback is equally valuable or applicable. Making informed adjustments based on feedback is where the rubber meets the road. This might involve tweaking your strategies, 
adjusting your goals, or even completely overhauling your approach if the feedback indicates it's necessary. The key is to remain flexible and responsive, always willing to adapt based on new information. This process of gathering feedback and making adjustments forms the basis of a continuous improvement cycle. One popular model for this is the Plan, Do, Check, Act, PDCA cycle. In this model, you start by planning your approach, then you implement it, do, check the results, gather feedback, and finally act on what you've learned by making necessary adjustments. This cycle then repeats, creating an ongoing process of refinement and improvement. Embracing this iterative development approach is crucial for sustained personal growth. It acknowledges that perfection is rarely achieved on the first try, and that growth is an ongoing process rather than a destination. By viewing your personal development as a series of iterations, each building on the lessons of the last, you create a powerful engine for continuous improvement. There are practical exercises you can use to engage with these concepts more deeply. One effective technique is to conduct regular self-evaluation sessions. Set aside time periodically to review your progress towards your goals. Ask yourself questions like, what's working well? What challenges am I facing? And what adjustments might improve my results? This structured self-reflection can provide valuable internal feedback. Another useful exercise involves actively seeking feedback from trusted individuals. Identify people in your life who can provide honest, constructive input on your progress and strategies. This might include mentors, colleagues, or close friends. Prepare specific questions to ask them, focusing on areas where you feel you need external perspective. As you begin to incorporate feedback loops into your personal growth strategies, you might wonder about the potential outcomes. At a good level, you'll see the incorporation of basic feedback into your plans. You'll start to make adjustments based on the information you're receiving, leading to more refined and effective strategies. An excellent outcome would be regularly updated strategies based on feedback. You'll develop a habit of consistently gathering and analyzing feedback, using it to make ongoing improvements to your approach. Your personal growth becomes a dynamic, evolving process rather than a static plan. The best outcome, however, is achieving optimal growth through continuous feedback integration. At this level, feedback becomes seamlessly integrated into your decision-making and strategy development. You develop an intuitive sense of how to gather, interpret, and act on feedback, leading to accelerated personal growth and more consistent achievement of your goals. Of course, as with any powerful tool, there are potential pitfalls to be aware of. One common issue is ignoring feedback, especially when it's challenging or uncomfortable. It's natural to want to defend our existing beliefs and strategies, but doing so can prevent us from growing and improving. The key is to stay open to input, even when it's difficult to hear. Another challenge is overreacting to negative feedback. While it's important to take feedback seriously, it's equally important to maintain perspective. Not all negative feedback necessitates a complete overhaul of your strategies. Sometimes, small adjustments are all that's needed. Learn to balance responsiveness with stability. Lastly, be wary of feedback overload. In our information-rich world, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the sheer volume of feedback available. The solution is to prioritize actionable insights. Focus on feedback that is specific, relevant to your goals, and provides clear directions for improvement. As we conclude this exploration of feedback loops, you may find yourself looking at your personal growth journey in a new light. The concept of creating a self-correcting, continuously improving system for your personal development is powerful indeed. But our journey through the realm of strategic thinking is not yet complete. In our final chapter, we'll zoom out to take a broader view of everything we've explored so far. How can we synthesize all these tools and concepts into a cohesive approach for lifelong growth and achievement. Prepare to discover how to weave together the threads of strategic thinking into a tapestry that will guide you far beyond the horizon of your current goals. Chapter nine, Beyond the Horizon. As we stand at the culmination of our journey through the realm of strategic thinking, 
it's time to lift our gaze beyond the immediate horizon. The tools and concepts we've explored throughout this book are not just isolated techniques, but building blocks of a powerful, integrated approach to personal growth and achievement. In this final chapter, we'll synthesize these elements into a cohesive framework and explore how they can propel you towards a future of continuous growth and success. The knowledge you've gained from this book has the potential to fundamentally transform your approach to life and personal development. By leveraging critical thinking for personal mastery, you've equipped yourself with a set of mental tools that can cut through complexity and uncertainty. You're no longer at the mercy of circumstances or limited by habitual thinking patterns. Instead, you have the ability to analyze situations deeply, consider multiple perspectives, and make decisions that align with your long-term goals. Perhaps even more importantly, you've learned to become proactive in shaping your future. Rather than simply reacting to events as they unfold, you now have the capacity to anticipate challenges, identify opportunities, and strategically position yourself for success. This proactive stance is a game changer, allowing you to take control of your personal and professional trajectory in ways you might never have imagined before. But the impact of strategic thinking extends far beyond your individual growth. It has the power to dramatically improve your relationships as well. By applying strategic thinking to interpersonal dynamics, you can navigate complex social situations with greater ease and effectiveness. You'll find yourself better able to understand others' perspectives, anticipate potential conflicts, and develop win-win solutions. Moreover, the communication skills you've developed through practices like reflective thinking and feedback loops can enhance your ability to express your thoughts clearly and listen empathetically. This improved communication can lead to deeper, more meaningful relationships in all areas of your life. As you continue to apply the concepts from this book, you'll find yourself able to achieve things that might have seemed out of reach before. Setting and achieving ambitious goals becomes not just possible, but a natural part of your growth process. The combination of strategic planning, scenario thinking, and risk management allows you to pursue bold objectives with a clear understanding of the challenges involved and well-thought-out strategies for overcoming them. Furthermore, you'll navigate challenges with a new level of confidence. Instead of being daunted by obstacles, you'll see them as opportunities for growth and problem-solving. Your ability to analyze root causes, develop multiple strategies, and adapt based on feedback means that you're well-equipped to handle whatever difficulties may arise. One of the most powerful aspects of the approach we've explored is that it becomes more efficient over time. As you continue to practice these concepts, you'll build habits for automatic strategic thinking. What once required conscious effort will become second nature. You'll find yourself instinctively considering long-term implications, analyzing situations from multiple angles, and developing creative solutions. This mastery of strategic thinking tools leads to a remarkable level of efficiency. You'll be able to make better decisions more quickly, navigate complex situations with ease, and achieve your goals with less wasted effort. It's like developing a mental superpower that allows you to operate at a higher level in all aspects of your life. As you synthesize the critical thinking tools we've explored, you'll create a personalized growth framework that's uniquely suited to your goals, values, and circumstances. This framework isn't a rigid structure, but a flexible, evolving approach that combines elements like systems thinking, scenario planning, decision models, and feedback loops in ways that work best for you. This personalized framework becomes your launchpad for exploring future opportunities. With your enhanced ability to identify emerging trends and anticipate future developments, you'll be well-positioned to spot opportunities that others might miss. Whether it's in your career, personal life, or broader societal changes, you'll have the foresight to prepare for and capitalize on new possibilities. Of course, the journey of personal growth is not always smooth. There will be times when you feel like you've hit a plateau, where progress seems to slow or stall. But armed with the tools of strategic thinking, 
you're well equipped to overcome these phases. By reassessing your goals, analyzing your current strategies, and setting new challenges for yourself, you can reignite your growth and push beyond perceived limitations. The ultimate goal of this book has been to instill in you a commitment to lifelong strategic thinking. The world is constantly changing, and to thrive in it, we must evolve with it. By committing to continuous learning, you ensure that your strategic thinking skills remain sharp and relevant. This might involve staying informed about new developments in your field, exploring new areas of knowledge, or seeking out fresh perspectives that challenge your existing views. As you continue to evolve with changing circumstances, you'll find that your capacity for strategic thinking deepens and expands. What once seemed like complex, challenging mental exercises will become intuitive. You'll develop an almost prescient ability to anticipate changes, identify opportunities, and navigate challenges. But perhaps the most profound transformation will be in how you view yourself and your place in the world. You'll no longer see yourself as a passive participant in life, but as an active creator of your destiny. The future becomes not something that happens to you, but something you help shape through your strategic choices and actions. As we conclude this book, I want to leave you with a powerful realization. The strategic mind you've developed is not just a tool for achieving specific goals or overcoming particular challenges. It's a fundamental shift in how you engage with the world. It's a way of thinking that allows you to see connections others miss, to find opportunities and challenges, and to craft a life of purpose and fulfillment. You now possess the ability to write your own story, to chart a course through life that aligns with your deepest values and most ambitious dreams. The strategic mind you've cultivated is your compass, your map, and your vehicle for this journey. It will guide you through uncertainties, help you overcome obstacles, and propel you towards horizons you may not yet even imagine. Remember, the journey doesn't end here. In fact, it's just beginning. Each day presents new opportunities to apply your strategic thinking skills, to refine your approach, and to push the boundaries of what you thought possible. Embrace this journey with enthusiasm and curiosity. Let your strategic mind be your guide as you explore new territories, both within yourself and in the world around you. The future is not a distant, fixed point, but a landscape of possibilities that you have the power to shape. With your strategic mind as your ally, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Yet, as you embark on this journey of personal growth and strategic thinking, you may find yourself wondering, how can I truly excel in every aspect of my life? How can I ensure that I'm not just planning strategically, but winning consistently? The answer lies in mastering a crucial skill set that complements and amplifies everything you've learned so far. To discover the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving victory in all your endeavors, don't miss the audiobook How to Win at Everything You Do. Tap the center of the video now to continue your transformation journey.